So are we recording now? Yes. What do you think? Leave them on or take them off? I think off. You could put them on at the end, because then you'll be Figo. Yeah. It'll be cool. Richard, can you believe it's been a year since we were in Urbino? Not at all. Not at all. It seems like yesterday to me. The excitement of being with all those teachers. For me, the chance to relax and write programs and um, enjoy those evening sessions where we ran around the town crazy. Seems like yesterday. I, I don't miss the running around the town <laughs> night so much. That was, uh, it was one of those things that was fun before and after, but I do remember during at times thinking, I'm not having fun right now. <laughs> but I'm glad that I did it, yeah. especially with such fun yeah. team members. And I believe we came in third. Yeah. That made it even that much more rewarding. Yeah. I don't even know where we came in as a team, but um, it was it was um, one of those one of those one of those things that is the essence of uh, great um, great times is when people work together, uh, laugh together, make a mess together, and um, generally solve the problem um, in the company of, of each other. It's delightful. Yeah. Uh, could you share one highlight since then? So, in the past year, has there been something that really um, maybe it's related to what was happening in Urbino, maybe not. Well, I, I, you know, the Urbino um, confirmed for me that I need to be uh, more active uh, as a scratcher um, and as a person concerned with learning programming and trying to make the whole education process around programming um, easier to understand for teachers who are clearly interested but don't know quite what to do. And I, I, I felt that Urbino helped me to um, nail a few things on that front, which came to fruition only a few weeks ago in Bordeaux at the Scratch Conference, which I enjoyed enormously. Um, and it, if it weren't for the Urbino experience, I wouldn't be in such a good position to have the discussions I, I had there with um, people interested in Scratch and how to take it forward. Yeah, I was so sorry that I couldn't be in Bordeaux with you. But, but, but this isn't a bad place to be. We're in Sedona, Arizona one of the most beautiful um, cliff dwelling rock formation uh, just sort of a magical place here in the southwest uh, not so far from Mexico relatively speaking the in the years since I was in uh, in Urbino I, I had an idea forming while I was there especially in conversations with Yuke and with um, Alessandro Professore about creating a MOOC like um, coding in the classroom live, but doing it with for an international audience rather than just being for an American audience or an Italian audience. So uh, I'm really excited that now I'm I'm helping to develop a course that will be delivered in in uh, many potentially dozens of countries simultaneously uh, for primary school teachers. Yeah. to learn how to use Scratch, really how to, um, how to be able to develop uh, lessons yeah. in Scratch with Scratch and just to, to help them create a learning environment around Scratch so they don't... The big message that I tried to deliver in Urbino that hopefully some folks got last summer is you don't have to master Scratch to be teaching with Scratch. Um, and so I think we might even call it teaching with scratch yeah. as opposed to teaching scratch because yes. uh, that makes room for the kids to be teaching each other and, and yeah. learning by discovery yeah. so I, I i i'll let you speak for yourself but i so wanted to be in italy this week this is this is the second time in six months that i was supposed to be in italy and couldn't come because of of health problems and and the work that i'm doing here now but um Maybe you not so much, I don't know. Well, you know, um, the time I came to Italy last year was my holiday. Um, I didn't come to work really, um, but I enjoyed being there and I enjoyed learning from the people that were there. Um, this time I took my holiday in um, the States to see the eclipse uh, the other day. So um, I came to Sedona to see Derek on the way back home again. But um, naturally all day we've been talking about programming. Uh, we can't stop ourselves and I look forward to many more such conversations with my Italian friends as well as American friends. I'm just, I'm excited that you're all working on developing apps 
this year. So uh, as soon as I heard that, I thought that's brilliant. It means that the those of you that created such a strong, tight-knit teaching community could come and continue to grow rather than it, be, it being just a new group of teachers coming in. So I think it's pretty cool. Um, Figo, Figo. Uh, but we, why don't we, we'll just do one quick turnaround so you can see, get a sense of scale of where we are. Again, this is Sedona, Arizona. It's northern Arizona. We're, we're just a few hours drive from the Grand Canyon, from the south rim of the Grand Canyon. Really incredible place. This is considered high desert. It's high elevation, so not quite as hot as other parts of the desert, and a lot more vegetation as you can see the trees and bushes and things. Pretty cool. So I'll just come back in for one big ciao, 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 ciao. See you, take care, ciao. Maybe, maybe next year. And if not, at least we'll see you online and, and, and it would, I would love it if some of you end up being in our MOOC. But, um, but you've had professorial MOOCs, so you should be out there not only teaching, but some of you are ready to make your own MOOC. So go make a MOOC. <laughs> ciao. Ciao.